Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial from scarmotion.com. This uh, tutorial what we're going to be doing is I'm going to show you how to load the uh, Victoria animation walk cycle uh, from scarmotion.com onto the Victoria rig and then we'll have her walk forward through space. Um, the walk cycle in scarmotion.com it's just a, a walk cycle which loops for about 37 frames um, so I'm going to show you how to apply that multiple times and then have her walk forward. We'll also go in there and I'll show you how to manipulate um, some of the other uh, animatable channels like uh, we could reduce her chest size um, or her waist size and um, we'll also run through some of the uh, tools in Poser here. So what I've got here is I've got Victoria and she's already uh, injected with all of her morphs um, and you can see here that I've got my uh, dope sheet open um, this is called the animation palette under windows you can select animation palette and that will open it up I also have over here the graph editor uh, this is your graph editor right here I've got my library which is this one here under windows you can see that and then over here this this little um, window here this is our parameters window and you can see your parameters dials under the windows if that's not open that's where you would find it and then also uh, the hierarchy um, and this shows um, all of the uh, the characters and um, uh, whatever other assets you might have in your scene and you can find that under windows as well hierarchy editor okay so the first thing I'm going to do is I've injected uh, Victoria with the morphs and I'm just going to select her hips then I'm going to go to the scale motion animation and I'm just going to load up um, the animation file there so the one that I'm going to use I'm going to use bounce um, and I've also you can see here that uh, my frames at the moment is uh, 1 to 30 just by default it comes in at 1 to 30 so let's just go ahead and have a look now pay attention to what happens down here in the animation palette you'll now notice that after loading this animation we now have 1 to 37 frames and that's because this walk cycle here is 37 frames in length if I just go ahead and play this you can see that we've got our little walk cycle there which is fantastic um, let's have a look at it from the side if I just right mouse click camera views let's just have a look at it from the right camera and we'll just pull back there you'll see that Victoria is really just walking on the spot okay now I'm just going to go back to the main camera here and what we're going to do is I'm going to go to the very last frame frame 37 and I do that by either selecting this little red arrow down here on the animation palette or what I could do is I could just go to the last frame on the timeline the timeline slider down here by the way if you wanted the animation controls to see that time slider you just load that in animation controls and that should load in there okay so I'm going to go to the last frame and then with Victoria selected on the very last one I'm just going to load in the animation again and if you look down here you'll notice that now we go to 73 frames I'm going to go to the last frame again select her load it in again and now we're up to 109 frames and then I'm just going to go to the last we'll load it in one more time so it's going to be four times Great, okay, so now our animation goes from frame one all the way through four times the cycles, the cycles, and it goes all the way through to 145. So that's great. It's loaded it all in, but now what we want to do is we want to have her walk forwards. So how do we do that? Well, the way you can do that is if you have a look down here in the high, uh, the hierarchy, uh, menu you'll see that we have the Victoria rig here and underneath we have the body select the body and then Z in uh, poser is forward so if we wrote if we rotate this little dial I'm just you can see up here I'm just selecting this dial 
and I'm moving that forward and back, you can see that she moves forward and back in space. Now I'm at frame 0, so, sorry, at frame 1. I'm just going to zero that out. I'm going to type in 0. Okay. Now if you go to the uh, Skymotion uh, webpage, you'll see that under Tips and Tricks, um, it actually shows you um, what the Z trend should be for this um, body control here so that it moves forward um, and it's 6.059 now this is in feet so the first thing that you have to do is you have to make sure that in poser your general uh, preferences go into general preferences and then come into interface and make sure that this here under units is set to feet Okay, by default sometimes it comes down at inches. Now if you set it to inches, when you type in um, 6.059 just for one cycle, it's not going to move very far. So you have to make sure that that's set to feet. Okay, now it's 6.059 for each cycle. Now she's walked four times, which means that we have to multiply that by four. So 6.059 multiplied by four gives us 24.3 sorry 24.236 so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that body and then here I'm going to go to the very last frame you can see that I'm at frame 145 and I'm going to type in 24.236 great now let's have a look I'm just going to undock this little window right here and let's see what that has done in our graph editor you can see that um, we've typed in the last frame so that she walks 24.236 but what it's done is oops, as you can see here we need to delete these other frames, these these uh, these little keyframes here. So I just select those with the uh, left mouse button, and then hit delete, and that deletes them. Okay, I'm just going to dock this back down there, and then I'm just going to go to my camera view. Let's say the left camera, and I'm just going to zoom this out just a little bit and then I'm just going to make sure I'm just going to scroll through and that looks right that's fantastic okay now one thing to note is that once you do that you have to make sure that this line here is set to linear okay if this was set to spline this green one here or this green one here this um, uh, toggle spline break you'll see that we get this wonky sort of curved line Okay, so what you want to have happen is, I've actually, sorry, I've inserted a key there. You want to make sure that from this very first frame here, if you just double click on that very first frame, make sure that that is set to linear selection so that that is nice and straight. Okay. Now, one other thing that I want you to have a look at is I'm just going to go to the front view again of our main cam here and let's say that you wanted to say reduce the chest size okay so what you could do is you select the chest um, and then under the morphs open up the morphs morph shapes morphs and then scroll all the way down let's say that we want to reduce say the breast size okay so we find the breast size which here is set default is uh, one point zero and if you double if you just click on that that will actually load up in the uh, the um, graph editor here the chest size and you can see that it's 1.2 now let's say that we want to make that smaller select all of your keyframes and then just with the control button hit control button if you're using a uh, PC and then you can drag these that down and if you have a look at the chest you'll see that what it's doing is it's actually shrinking the size 
okay and you can shrink that all the way down to whatever and this is the way that you would do it with with um, any sort of uh, control if you wanted to increase the hips you would do exactly the same another way of doing it is you could just delete all of the keys and then go to the very first frame and then just dial in whatever size you want but make sure that you don't have any animation after that first frame okay because if you have animation after that first frame let's say that we drop this all the way down and we make this say zero what will happen is over time they'll get smaller okay great so I'll just select that and then I'll delete it um, I'm just going to right mouse click here and then go into the left camera and then what we can do is we can just do a render so to do a render just come up into animation make movie um, this one I'm just going to make it an AVI file and I'm just going to render this out you can see I've already done a couple here uh, I'm just going to name this one render walk and we'll render this out I'll make it high quality I'm just going to render this out as a uh, Microsoft uh, video one and it will render all of the frames um, from the start all the way to the finish so I'll pause this and uh, we'll have a look at this once it's rendered okay so that's just uh, finished rendering I'm just going to come in here and have a look at it um, I'm going to open this with a QuickTime player and we'll just see how that looks well that looks pretty good there we go very simple so um, I hope that helps and if you have any questions I'd love to hear from you um, and to find that walk cycle if you go to scarmotion.com you'll be able to find uh, the Victoria walk cycle here thanks very much